had a lot of uh, users that are co-living uh, developers and they're do building different product. But from your perspective, it's kind of being toted as a solution to affordable housing, obviously. I don't and, really agree with that one. Yeah, so give, give me a... I think it's, a step, it's another vehicle. Cool. That's all it is. Cool. I mean, it's, it's a limited... It's a large group of people wanting these things, yeah. but it's still limited, right? right? right. This, uh, this isn't going to be somebody that's going to be living there for 20 years, right? Right. This is somebody that, this is transient people. Right. They're here, they want to be walkable, they want to be near stuff, right. but this isn't a long-term stay. Right. So I think, I think there's, a, there's a runway for it, mm -hmm. I just don't know how long it is. Got it. At the same time, I do see from what Common's doing and from all these other companies are doing, and they have massive wait lists. Yeah. Um, yeah, the one here, uh, was it Ani, I believe, had... Uh, there's another Ollie one or some, somebody here. Common, uh, 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 I forgot where it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was one of the small ones. It wasn't, in, it wasn't like a big building. I heard it was, they didn't, the, each of the individual units didn't even have a restroom. They have a shared restroom. Oh, that's and crazy. And it still had a wait list. Of that's life. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. So, I just recently sold one where they're going to be building close to 30 units, and they're each going to be four or five better. Oh, nice. Now, okay. The, 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 the reason they can do it, the site is, is, is large. Okay. It's about 22,000 square feet. It's on R3, and they don't do any density bonuses. They can't do density Of course. Of course. So it's all by right. So to right. fit 28 units on 22,000 feet, wow. when your FAR is probably close to, a buildable is probably 60,000. 60,000, yeah. Probably a little bit less, but yeah. whatever. Yeah. I mean, how big am I going to make these things? Right. So I think the average size uh, of these co-living things are around 2,000 feet. Got it. Right? Got it. So they fit perfectly. Yeah. And to be honest, the city shouldn't have any issues with this because these are all by right. Right. They're never limited to how many bedrooms they can do. Right. They're not asking for less parking. They're not asking for any of that. Yeah. The biggest issue I see mm -hmm. is eventually the city's going to catch up okay. and they're going to want to get paid somehow. Uh, tax it. They're going to tax it. They're yeah. going to try to do some sort of an occupancy tax. Sure. The, 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 the city doesn't want, they want max density. They yeah. want their fees. 100%. They want their Quimby fees. They want, yeah. well, linkage now for for density bonus, but they want their fees. Right. And they're going to find a way to tax these things. Right, right. Um, the ones I've sold, I, uh, I've sold one on two, on, three on the west side and one in the valley. Mm. And the one in the valley is having issues because of CRA. Got it. Yeah, CRA. It all comes back to CRA. <laughs> yeah, it's a challenge. I think uh, um, one thing I will mention uh, is, so Alex Irvine, our uh, partner, He's actually dealing with this head on right now with the city. And Great. there is uh, something coming out from uh, city planning that's supposed to have a stance. But then, of course, the uh, unknown has been they have to cater to both, right? So they have to create some sort that's of like, yeah, middle ground for the CRA and then for uh, developers and TLC. So it's coming uh, within a month. Yeah, so. but it's going to first has to get approved right, by the city. Right, right. This it is just a draft. Call out. It's going to be probably two or three year process. Early draft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's it, the, the biggest issue, as far as I'm concerned, with regard to affordability is right. these issues. Yeah, agreed. Right? You're yeah. trying to fix a problem. So, in my opinion, I, I went to this breakfast and Mike Fuhr spoke. Who, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah not yeah, necessarily yeah. the biggest fan of Mike Fuhr yeah, yeah, or Garcetti yeah. for that matter, yeah, but yeah. Mike Fuhr said something really that really resonated with me, but it'll never happen in the city of Lane. We need a real estate czar. We need somebody that says, part of my friend, mm. fuck everybody. You're right. We have we have a crisis. Right. If we were if we were being if we had an Ebola outbreak or right. if we had you know we we have a homeless and affordability housing crisis. Right. It is not the fault of the developers. Right. It is the fault of NIMBYs in the city. Got That's it. the biggest issue as Got far it. as I'm concerned. Got so it. we need to come out and say. This is an a, this is an emergency, and even go federal. Yes, yes. go federal. Right. Yeah. With the fact that the state level, I mean, uh, Gavin Newsom came out and said we need three and a half million uh, units of housing. You know how many the state is zoned for? Fifty. Two point eight. Oh, okay. Okay. So even his goal right. is today unreachable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got it. That's a problem. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, so that to touch on that and final point on that would be we we do have a goal to kind of bridge the gap and I think a lot of the city's problems has been a lot of turnover so they have a lot of, a lot of turnover in the planning department and, uh, up and down and it seems like everyone's just new to something and they're yeah. catching catch and they're learning on our and they're learning on yeah exactly and so we want to get the scale uh, to kind of 
uh, open the dialogue further. I think there's a lot of uh, inefficiency with the city, but I think if uh, your solution is actually really good with the real estate czar, but someone similar. I think there has to be someone that has oversight and ability to move things.